Foot soldiers who worked for APC since 10 years ago and are still keeping hope alive have gathered together under one umbrella to celebrate themselves. As some said, it looks like they are not remembered by the party and the president of the party. Speaking at the award night in Abuja, the convener of the gathering, Iriti Dola Ojehua, said that the party and the president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, should make use of his people so that the people that worked for the party from every state will feel belonging and be useful. Somehow, the awardees tonight are people who, though they worked in 2014, they worked in 2019, the party had never at any time recognized them or not even to call them for some of them not even to call them for lunch or, or call them for dinner and all that so some of us who have been uh, better recognized you know you know uh, one or two of us that have been you know at least recognized once or twice like that decided you know that it would be a good thing that even if the party is not doing it you know that we as a people should come together you know and and uh, recognize some of us that we know worked very well then we did together and somehow even though they are still with us we know that hope i mean defer it uh, make it the uh, heart weak and so some of them their resilience and all it's like we're seeing that some of them are becoming weak in their stand in their especially when they see non-party members when they see people who came in a year ago, came in six months or before election, and you know, coming in, you know, and becoming the, um, you know, yes, the, the people being celebrated every day, you know, so you know that many of them are, are, are getting weary. So we decided amongst ourselves that, look, we don't need to wait for the party to celebrate us, let's celebrate ourselves. So what is going to be your clarion call to the party and the leadership at the presidency level? So my call is that the party should let's set up a structure that recognizes especially these professionals who themselves they are working, they are doing their things, they are spending their money. Many of them take flights to come from wherever. Even tonight, nobody is giving them money or anything. The moment it said, oh, everybody is coming from everywhere. The party should do something in recognizing, you know, its people from, you know, all over the states, you know, which these people are representing. There are things that people who love the party to succeed, people who want the party to succeed, there are things that they could be used to do, apart from being appointed ministers, appointed all those things, you know, but, you know, it's like everybody is shouting and we're trying to defend, but even that which we are defending, it's like most people are feeling like they are not part of it, they are just defending what they know not. Barrister Aya and Aya also disclosed that the party has not recognized loyalty to the party and call on president to look inward and recognize loyalty calls on president to go ahead and implement his plans well my people the able people say that uh, a person who is rejected does not reject himself although we do not consider ourselves rejected people but then we may as well say the more appropriate world should be that we we are the forgotten people uh, we we um, invested our time, our resources, and uh, our friendships, our connections 10 years ago to make sure that um, a party which was coming from the cold actually was able to rise to the position it is today, the All Progressive Congress. However, the last 10 years, and we also repeated the same feat in 2015, 2019, and 2023. However, it is sad to note that um, the establishment, the power structure has not been able to recognize Loyalty. I won't even use the word reward. Recognize loyalty. We've had no atom of recognition from the uh, people we sent there on errand to governors. Of course, in terms of governors, we were expecting that um, we have all the personnel needed to make sure that we take Nigeria one step forward or many steps forward. Among us, there are professionals, there are experienced people who are ready to partner with the government one way or the other or in any way whatsoever to make sure that um, the now renewed hope agenda is realized. But then they don't seem to know that we exist. So this ceremony is actually to say, oh, we are still around, we are still here and we are still available for to, to be used for the purpose of the general well-being of Nigeria and Nigerians. So I would rather advise the government to harness all the potentials at its uh, disposal and it should look beyond what it currently has. There are so many talents in Nigeria, both uh, uh, 
political talents and professional talents. Get them on board and see that the renewed hope agenda is not an aborted dream. Atele Emmanuel calls on the party and the president to appoint members who worked for the party and advised president to carry youth along in his appointment. The, the appointment, uh, we know that uh, some opposition party work for us. They work for us. I think those people should be compensated first before we do that in in-house. But uh, nevertheless, we that an in-house should not be forgotten. Because uh, since the era of uh, Buhari from 2014, we know the sacrifice we have made for APC and we have not been compensated. But tonight, I know something will come from today with a new hope. Well, uh, I will advise the president on my candid opinion. Uh, he should try and carry the youth along. Because the appointment done so far, from what is happening so far, the youth are not really carried along. That's my, my view. The youth are not really carried along. Because there are a lot of youth outside with that appointment. Those who are supposed to, the vibrant ones are supposed to work with brain, they are supposed to do things. They are not really carried along. I think maybe, actually, people who sacrifice will work. It's voluntarily, and they want to be compensated. Maybe that's what he's doing for now. But we'll see, maybe in future, he will try to bring the technocrats, people that already do the job. From Abuja, I'm Bemiga Olamikon. Thank you.